Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. The Coplin is dead. We did speak with its corpse, did we? I think we did. Now there's no half of the camp we have yet to talk with. I can pack or talk, and right now I'm packing. Good for you, because soon enough all of you will be dead. <clears throat> Please leave us be. This isn't a good time. It's fine, Memnos. That goblin won't be the last. It was a nice shot, if nothing else. It was wrong. It was justice. Or the start of it. Hmm. <laughs> Done. Rex? Oh, hello there. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. That forge is holding on by a thread, or a smith. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Then, let me see your wares. It's not fine yet, not everything's loaded. But, let's go on with that. <laughs> oh, light crossbow, that would be nice. Do we have anything for sale? Oh, there's that. How much for that crossbow? 100. We can sell it for 12. I don't have any. Okay, I can sell this. I'm keeping the hand, it's mine. A simple rope. Oh, sure. I don't know why we are keeping that. Yeah, we won't be using those. Trust me, we won't be using dice. How much was it? 100, great. Now you take that, sell it, and we are poor again. Thank you. Now, who's left? You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Agreed. Hungry warriors make for easy prey. You've been on hard times too, huh? No worse than what you're facing now. <laughs> Look in your eyes says otherwise. Here, have more. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. Thank you. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. It's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Well, I've had a such pounding headache recently. Oh, there's nothing like a pain in the noggin to Ethel you. You need to look after that head of yours. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Uh, 
And what is it exactly? Oh, just, just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. I'm fine. Just bone weary after a difficult day. <laughs> oh, stop! Even on a good day, half the camp acts like a bunch of screaming brats. I'm tempted to smack them all on the backside and tell them to kiss and make up. Not that they'd listen to little old me. Anyway, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. What harm? Show me what you've got. Hey, bother. Thank you for your potion. No, please take it away. Thank you. By the way, can I give it to him? No, not here. Uh, actually, I don't think we need anything from you. Maybe I'll sell you some scrolls that I won't be using. Potion of invisibility might come in handy. Potion of Hildran's strength surely would. Take care now, sweetie. Before I forget, once again, I'll give you this and this, and I think that's all. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can take this stuff, those stuff. Right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Two tiefling refugees. <laughs> You'll be lucky to get a square of dirt at a public house. If that's what we're offered, we'll take it. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. Surely destined for the slaughter. What would be more perfect than to die by your love's side? And know love was not enough. Hmm. Oh. Locked. There you go. There's a book. Uh, actually, let's say this. If they don't belong to anyone, we can just sell them. Now, be a deer and open the chest for us. Oops. We don't need guidance. Or maybe you do. We can try that again. What is happening with you? And yeah, we are wasting thieves tools. Thank you. I hope it was worth it. We've known enough grief this ten day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. What did I do? Well, 
by what I'm gonna do with all of you once your carcass is fly in blood. Ooh, come on, please read that for me. Thank you. I should speak up. I heard some squeaking. The gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Well, good luck because you're not getting one from me. You knocked Aradin clean out. And you helped drive the goblins back. Thank you. Just passing through. Right. I'd offer you supplies and sustenance by way of thanks, but I'm afraid there's little to spare. Whatever your business here, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This latest attack will only strengthen their resolve. I have no quarrels with druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. Hmm. And what brought you here? We are refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after goblins and gnolls attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. Is there a place for tieflings anywhere? <laughs> a fair point. We can only hope the citizens of Baldur's Gate are more open-minded. But we can't get there with those beasts blocking our path. Hmm. This ritual... Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't see me. You, though... I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her. For more time to prepare, if nothing else. My head's a wreck. I've got too much else to deal with right now. Turning your back on those in need. Maybe we'll get along after all. I understand. I can only thank you for the help you've already given. If you'll excuse me, I'd best get my people moving. No, sir. But if there's a clear okay, there's part, another book goblins, here. They'll find it. Yes. Of course. And another one here. Wait, there's someone here. Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate... Well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Try not to kill over with the first blade drawn. Well, we came through a Vernus. We might not look it, but we're tough. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate.
Maybe you'll catch a glimpse of Baldur's Gate before they cut you down. No. Oh. Well, aren't you an optimist? I've seen what the goblins can do to a vulnerable caravan, so I'm not as confident. But if you are, why not put a little gold on the line? And how are you going to take my gold if you're dead? I'm sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. After seeing you at the gate, I'm sure you'll last longer than us. Alright, you're on. Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. And I'll make sure you won't be the one to make it. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, a chest. Scroll of Enlarge. That could come in handy. And this will take us, I don't know where. Not entirely sure where it may take us. Laser, have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? Not exactly. But you answered my question. wrong you're a true soul you can't die please stay with us i, I don't think he's conscious C can you hear us ed you not a step closer a strange symbol glows marked on their flesh and something within you stares in response I will go where I wish. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured and I... I wasn't thinking. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite rides in your head. Hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. He will... He... He... Edwin! Ed! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin! Our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Hmm. Well, and what happened to your brother exactly? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. You need to find the beast and avenge your brother. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, Trusso, we may stand a chance.
They spoke of the absolute. Same as that goblin, Sansa. Curious. Seems as you should search that corpse. From all kinds of places. Okay, apparently they don't want to come. Uh, oh, trust no one. Progress interrupted. Not enough space. Um, oh, you can jump down here. Same goes for you, really. There you go. Where am I needed? This is a howling wasteland. I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. I must reek of a lizard slime. <sighs> sure, but think of the stories you'll be able to tell. Okay, it's done. So the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. <laughs> Nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. A power born of elephids is not one to take lightly. Its value is unproven. Such powers of manipulation could be useful. And if it makes our enemies more malleable, all the better. My point exactly. I'm so glad you agree. But now I have some questions for you. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Who chose you? The absolute, the almighty goddess. Is there anything valuable around here? Or fine. Let's be serious. What can you tell me about the absolute? What were you doing here? And what do you know about this weapon? some resources on our way. Oh. Where are we exactly? Oh. Doesn't matter. What's hiding here? Thank you. And what do we have over here? Hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Best tread carefully. Keep your distance, so, that's why you go alone. No. The blade of front is at your calling. Hmm. Well, since we're here. Tell me, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Goblins. <laughs> Pitiful vermin. This is a kill. Hardly worth getting worked up about. Tell that to the boy shivering over his mother's ravaged corpse. It makes me angry to think about it still. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffer. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Is that how you lost your eye? In the goblin battle? It was an even bloodier day. And a stronger foe. It's made from pure bloodstone. Carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Lean in and examine the eye more closely. Tiny grooves spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone. Used to confer with distant contacts. Isn't your eye a sending stone? A sending stone? <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens. His jaw tenses. Will is keeping something from you. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. Draw on the power of ink and force your will. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. Alright, I'll leave you for now. Death's close at hand. Please drink. And you. We'll go alone. Right. Maybe we can set him on fire. Oh. We should set the whole grove on fire. Wait. Can you? No. Shut it. Boss is with you for talking that way. Well, at least we got the druid to keep ourselves entertained. He's boring. Let's find another one. No time to rest. Oh. Exactly. And I'll use it to. Slow down. Breathe quiet. Move with care. Let's see what you are hiding. Never wanted the easy path. Don't wear his voice out. We still need answers. There is four of them. Keeping low. Minthor is gonna skin us. No one knows about this damn mm. weapon. Yeah. Actually, yeah, the iron book away.
Well, now what has happened? Now laser A will be such here and move those. You don't see them? Interesting. See, I always put it seen, right? A little bit closer. I'm just waiting quietly. Mm -hmm. Nice and quiet. Oops. I think they found out what hit them. Didn't you? Quiet as a moonbeam. You can speak with animals. <laughs> We're gonna use that. Oh well, he's almost dead. There's nothing you can do. I can take you out of the acid bath. Time to move. While they're distracted. Not enough movement. How about this? Not really. Precisely why I want to walk away. I will not do failure. Um, would you be such a dear and pick me up, please? Get out. Get out of the acid bath. I'm sure we'll be dead. Ah, I want to rest. The sunset can't come quickly enough. Hmm. Let's 
Let's have a look. We will loot them all. Nope. Might as well. Who are you? The corpse regards you lifelessly. What did the goblins want? Searching for a weapon. Hmm. Should have thought about that. What were you doing down here? Hiding. Goblins followed from the forest. Who made this tunnel? We druids. Concealed entrance to our grove. And what do you know about the weapon the goblin were seeking? No weapon here. Our ritual protects us. What is the ritual that protects you? Right of thorns seals the grove. Who are you? Findel, druid, a herbalist. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Pickle. Uh, you please deactivate the bear. Tread carefully. Oh. What did you find? That's. I'm very sure we deactivated that one, so. You will go over there because you can jump further. Run, run for it. Thank you for noticing. Chart key. You will not take me. <sighs> Objective noted. All oh, right, I did not didn't loot you. Have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Key of the Ancients. Nature plus one. How much nature do we have? Plus one. No. You have one. Well. Oh. You're gonna receive a circuit. And let's pretend it's you too. Now, I did tell you that I'm gonna do only long rests, but at this point it's gonna be a suicide. Hmm? Oh, right, and that trusty over here. Guidance, sure. Hmm. You're not really doing a great job, you know that. Why? The song, please. I don't know why it didn't explode into our faces because I didn't disarm it. That's for you. What to do? Is it any better than what we have? Not really. Ours have treat water. Hmm? Never wanted the easy path. Don't touch me. 
Okay, then please disarm those traps. 30. I believe it's impossible for him to get that. Mm, and I think I lost. Yep. No one stopped me yet. Oh well. I know when I'm unwelcome. There are traps about. That's why we'll continue that way. Maybe we should camp here? I don't think there will anything bad will happen if we do. Hmm. Sure, let's camp. Oh, actually no, we cannot. We don't have that much food. Hmm. And we are doing this in tactician mode. Oh, we are on the other part of the... Ooh. We are on the other par part. On the other side. Hi. Oh, was it? Oh, nothing. Please don't blow. Please do not blow me. Oh. Stop! This place is off limits. Leave. In a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her. Far beneath your talents. Hmm. Girl, another world, and I'll snap your neck. <sighs> now be quiet. What were you so loud about? Just don't hurt me, please. Makes sense. Oh, okay. something good here. Keep it to your ward. We do. We do need food. Another book. Wait, is that some new? Hmm, that was creepy. Red clothes, rags, casual sandals. No. Okay. Room for more. Thank you for that. There you go. You can read it. And please unlock this for me. For the one that I just opened. The fuck? What's inside? Moving ahead. Hmm. Nice. 
think we can just use this way to come back. I don't really see any place where we can safely jump down, so this is fine. By the way, I missed this book. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Can anyone explain to me why would you jump up there if jumping down just cost to your health? Hmm? By the way, how did you jump so high up? Well, I am gonna take as much as I can and I'll kill you eventually. <laughs> That's for you to deal with. Just keep giving him guidance. Just in case. Ooh, was that a liver? He didn't take it? Where did you hide it? Okay. Now that's interesting. from real cheap too. Interested? If there was magic in this ring, I would have felt it. It's nothing but junk. Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother. She's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. This sounds like a scam. I uh, don't know what you mean. Come on, this is a trinket trash scam and a clumsy one. Hey, that hurts. I'm running an honest... Uh, okay, what's a tinker's trash? It's when a scammer offers the target a magic object. Uh huh. Then rigs a game to gain the target's trust and sell them trash. Huh. Interesting. And I promise this isn't a Tinker's trash scam. Then what kind of con is it? Look, I swear to you. These rings are the real deal. I promise, I'm not running a scam. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? No. And I'm keeping the ring. You'll be sorry about this, scab. Count on it. What's up for discussion? Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. So what's your side of the business? What? Um... I'm the guard. So don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Hmm. <laughs> of course you are. Please, last room. Let my 
my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> help each other fight the goblins together instead these fools are trying to chase us away we could have taken those gods i'd rather you not get eaten by a bear try Greece. we need to get arabella out now you heard the guards they're waiting on corker to give word i'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake Ugh. You need to be careful. That bear would have torn you to shreds. I don't give a rag about me. It's my daughter I'm worried about. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear. Or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Horrifying. We should check on the girl. Hush. Thieves deserve to be punished. It's as simple as that. Great, another one. We'll figure something out. We always do. I'm sure you will. Give him a chance. You, get back! If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Pathetic. Curse to put my hands on everything. Keep away from Tafet. She's lazy enough as this is. gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. And there's no overestimating my disinterest. I have no time for questions. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Fine. Ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Hmm. There are goblins, same as all the others, lowly and vile. Goblins struck fear and awe in the heart of wilting witness. A myth weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? A brass or silver dragon would die a million deaths before allying with goblins. Witnesses noticed red dragon marching at rear. Last question, then you'll be quite free. 
Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes. They called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglabiet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. And this is where I'm gonna end this part, so for now, thank you very much, stay alive and see you soon, bye.